to be one CQ once again. I'm going back out portable again soon, hopefully this week, to activate some uh, bunkers or some parks. Did it uh, on the 8th of June with little success. The first bunkers managed to get the contacts and activated the park. Anyway, I'm always interested in finding alternative antennas. And the look of them and the quirkiness and, and wow factor, that, that type of thing. And what actually found me interested, and after finding something on YouTube, let's see if I can get the picture up first, is this. The big Kansas coil. From the States. And see if I can um, read out something to you. At the same time, there we go. The Big Kansas Coil is a 3D printed lightweight portable base loaded vertical coil manufactured out of engineering grade glass and carbon fiber filled nylon material. It stands up to heat, weather, and rugged portable use without any problems. Uh, it is made from 16 gauge stainless steel wire wrapped around the coil body and allows you to go from 6 meters all the way to 80 with a telescopic whip. doesn't say what size telescopic whip, so I can only assume it's going to be the taller one, like the MFJ 1979, which isn't available anymore, although you can still buy what looks similar to them from eBay and probably AliExpress. Um, I've looked around, but I can't see any power rating for those, so I'm not too sure. Also, I've only got um, a G90 with 20 watts. I don't think 20 watts is actually going to do any damage to the to the whip antenna. So it'll be interesting to to see what I actually got. Is there anything else? Always, you've got a two um, SO239 connection. Now the radials. Um, because it comes in two packs, you can buy the coil pack on its own, or you can buy the accessory combo, which basically, in, which I did, which includes three by 33 foot long radio wires uh, for the tripod and the tripod base legs, the base for the tripod as well. Uh, and then cows. The radios are made out of 20 gauge silicon insulated wire for flexibility. Tripod base is 3D printed out of the engineering grade filled nylon 6 material. Threaded socket on top is for the 3 8 24 set screw and so on and, and uh, that's about it. Now the actual price for the combo kit doesn't actually sound too expensive. Also, without the actual whip itself, you may say to yourself, well, you've got to go out and purchase the whip. Well, you may actually have one, which I do. Um, and it may not actually sound too bad at $270. When you translate it back into the UK pound sterling, it doesn't sound actually too bad. Although delivery postage isn't free. After making inquiries with a guy called Ryan, he came back saying that UPS seems to be the cheapest, at only $51. So the overall package wasn't didn't actually seem to be too bad. However, I knew something was actually going to happen and I appreciated that um, I would have to pay import duty. I wasn't wrong. There was import duty from UPS at a staggering £56. Now, so, so the overall package doesn't seem to be quite economical as it actually deemed to be in the first place. I'm not necessarily worried about it because it's obviously down to me 
I didn't have to order it but I do like it I do want to try it I do want to make a couple of videos out of it and show people what alternative stuff there is out there it's not about who's best comparing against one coil against another coil I don't do that it's all down to the individual what we feel happy with so I'm going to give it a go and hopefully we'll be like it's in the country I've paid the excess duty and hopefully I should have it this week and plan to go out and doing another video and a little bit of poter I understand also that where you've got the slider on the left hand picture that doesn't just go up and down you can turn it around how far it would actually go around I'm not 100% too sure because I can't really see the other side of the coil at the moment uh, oh yes there is another picture I'm looking up on my mobile phone it will probably be able to twist and turn round so you turn it round like, like a probably anti-clockwise or clockwise it really depends on the motion I have I, I've read something about the instructions and I have to look again make sure I get the right information and it does actually look quite interesting that doesn't just slide up and down on the opposite side of the coil itself there is a fastening clip so you unclip it move it up and down or clockwise or anti-clockwise whichever way you're going and whichever way you can do it clip it back and I think the unit actually stays where it actually is or well, the slider stays where it actually is and that seems to be interesting to me and I just wondered um, how would actually compare against the others the only way I'm going to find out is wait for it when it comes in the post and that's it looks quite nice not too sure about 6 to 80 I don't have a lot of experience with these type of uh, portable antennas but I'm willing to give it a go there is a video on YouTube just search the big cancers coil I think there was one out I think some somebody produced one this week so it's quite still new search for that and that will give you more of a, an in-depth detail but looking forward to receiving that in the post and going and actually using it the good thing about this I also it also says in instructions before I go it will conservatively go up to 100 watts on data like FT8 I'm not too sure if, F, if 100 watts on FT8 is necessary on a radio but I don't have experience with data modes I don't actually have experience with FT8 or FT4 100 watts sounds to be a little bit too high for me uh, can't do that on a G90 anyway so I can't I can't uh, give you a comparison what the power is like but it'd be interesting to see and he may have information on that other video I haven't watched all of it with other stuff going on at home and uh, when I get time I'll go through that video again and have a look but check it out please like and subscribe to my videos and wait for the other video 73's bye for now